<clears throat> so, I got a story time for you guys today. Now, I don't know what the title of this video is going to be, but it's going to be called, most likely, Tapping Into My Animal Instincts. Alright, so I got a little story time. This video actually ain't going to be too long. This is something that I wanted to address and put you guys up to speed of what you are actually capable of using this vessel that your ancestors have bestowed upon you so um yeah we're gonna be talking about a little story time so i dodged death yesterday and um basically right yesterday it was around five o'clock six o'clock right i I believe I went to go get pizza if I'm not mistaken. So I sat, chilled, ate some pizza, right? After that I came back, boom. I made some videos, right? So I made these videos and I held my videos for a couple hours. It was four videos, right? However, I knew that my phone was not charged. So after I ate my pizza, I came back to my little area. I sat and charged my phone just so I can get to enough percentage so I could upload them. So I went to my little area to charge it. I let it charge, get it to like 45%, 50%, maybe 30%. I'm not sure. After I did that, right, I went to a place that have good Wi-Fi because I don't got the best Wi-Fi so I'll be siphoning off other people's shit no cap <laughs> so I went to a spot that got like really good Wi-Fi so I could upload fast as fuck because I ain't feel like waiting all night just to upload like um these four videos that was like 15 minutes long I would have been sitting there for about an hour just to upload four so I went to the spot so I could upload quickly right and um this shit gonna get interesting dog so after I charged my phone right I told myself, okay, I'm finna go upload these videos. So I went, chilled for about 15, 10 minutes. The videos posted. After I posted the videos, right, guess what happened? I came back. And I was at this bus stop, right? And this bus stop was by a creepy-ass cemetery-like shit. It was, it's creepy, right? So I decided I'm finna go ahead and take me a little nap right there. You get what I'm saying? I'm finna give me some rest and shit. So this is where the story gets good. I sat at the bus stop, right? I'm chilling. I'm like, hmm. This is deep. I almost lost my life yesterday. But I'm gonna tell you why I didn't lose my life. So I sat at this bus stop. I was there for about good 30 minutes, right? So, I'm just chilling, you feel me? I done sat there, and I'm just vibing for about 30 minutes, just chilling, just trying to see, like, hmm. Is this a comfortable place for me to just lay my head at and take a nap? So, I sat there, I meditated. I couldn't even meditate. Because something within my spirit, my DNA was telling me like, it's something off about this area. You get what I'm saying? So I couldn't put my finger on it, right? Mind you, this bus stop was by like a cemetery type shit, like no cap. I just wanted to chill there, it was dark, peaceful. You know what I'm saying? I'm not afraid of the dark. You get what I'm saying? Dark is peace to me because I was getting ready to meditate, chill out, relax, take a little nap. So after I sat there and I did that shit, you get what I'm saying? Something within me was just like, it's something about this spot, it's something about this area. Hear me out now. So my intuition was telling me there is something wrong. There's something extremely wrong here. So I couldn't put my finger on it, but my body was telling me like, nah, man. 
something just ain't right. So I'm just sitting there like, just trying to pinpoint like what's going on? What's up with this bus stop? So after about like five minutes, right, I turn my flashlight on. After I turn my flashlight on, right, I start observing the damn bus stop. And it's like hella spiders. My intuition, my animal DNA was telling me instinctively this spot is not where you need to lay at. And I'm going to go and tell you. I'm gonna tell you after this. So I'm just sitting here, my, my body, I can't ignore that feeling. Like when your intuition start kicking in and something is off, like you'll feel it instinctively. It's the animal DNA within you, right? So instinctively, I'm just sitting there like, bruh, this feeling, I can't shake this feeling, bruh. It's, it's like danger, like death, no cap. That's exactly what was going through my body. Like this is death, you get what I'm saying? Don't lay here, it's deadly. Nothing good will come if you lay your head right here tonight. No cap. And I was on point. I couldn't ignore it. So, bruh, I took out my flashlight. Right? This is some crazy shit, bro. So, I took out my flashlight. Like, the bus stop looked so peaceful. I took out my fucking flashlight. And... I flashed the light on. I'm looking at the bus stop, right? I'm seeing all types of like spider webs, right? Hear me out, my instincts is telling me danger, like this shit is dangerous, don't lay here, no cap. My body is like not fucking with this spot, G. I'm like, damn, I know something bad is like not about this environment. Animal DNA. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, Fuck, man, like my body just wasn't fucking with it. I'm like, bro, I'm finna bang it, man. I ain't finna take no nap right here. So I'm seeing all these different spider webs and shit. I'm like, fuck. So, dog, I'm sitting on the bus bench. I'm just looking like, the fuck? There's spider webs everywhere. I'm like, the hell? I didn't even expect this. I found this shit off pure instincts. So I'm flashing my flashlight. I'm just. I see a bunch of spider webs, bitch, but my body was telling me death, 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 death. That's all that kept. That's all my body was resonating with was death, no cap. Like, my instinct was telling me because this is a, a spot of death. So, bruh, I kid you not, I flashed my flashlight. I seen spider webs, and I'm sitting on the bus bench, but next to me, on the most high, in the crack of the bus stop, it was the most venomous spider right in the crack of the bus stop and you know how bus stop is right you can lay like you feel me so I was going take me a nap right there so I thought my body was like nah this is not it and I couldn't ignore it cause like intuition was telling me cause this shit is not the vibes so I found this deadly ass spider. It was a brown widow spider. It had an orange hourglass on that hoe. And the only reason I was able to find that is because that animal DNA that's unraveling my intuition. So something in me was like, man, just look around, cause this shit, oh, I found this big stupid ass, bro, this spider was like, Cuh, this spider was like these, cuh. Oh my gosh, cuh, right? And I was just getting ready to lay my head, like, right on top of that, cuh. Right on top of that shit. And you know what a black, a black widow brown, well, you know that shit, duh. Them shits kill people, one bite. So, I found the spider. I say, that's what the fuck was, that's why I was feeling like that. So, dude, my instinct saved my life yesterday. No, I ain't killed a spider. What the fuck? I'm not going to destroy nature. But if I would have laid right there, nigga, that spider in my sleep would have yoked me. Your boy wouldn't even be here right now. But I wanted to 
make this video and explain to you how powerful this suit really is. I made a video a couple months ago telling you how our ancestors in the event they didn't survive certain shit. Instinctively in our DNA and cells, we will be able to overcome what they didn't. So your ancestors, right, before they was killed, they had children and their cells and DNA holds the information of all the pain, all the times they died, all of that shit is in your vessel. So what that told me was this. That wasn't the first time my ancestors went through some shit like that. And in this human experience, right, I have had dreams about spiders and shit. I may, have, I may have got killed by a spider in the past, or maybe one of my ancestors have got killed by giant spiders or some shit. No cap. So, the shit is deep. So that information and memory that my ancestors have made sure it got passed down, passed down through the bloodline is in my suit. So in this vessel, instinctively, some of the shit they have been through, I overcame it because they went through it. So this shit is real. I found that spider because my instincts was telling me don't lay here, look around. You know, your instincts is just something you do naturally. Like, I was sitting there and something was just, something in my spirit was just like death. Like, nah, you're gonna die, cuz. That's what my instincts were telling me. So, I'm like, I'm finna get from here, but I see this big dumbass spider. That shit was like, cuz. Whoa. And I was going to lay my hand right there, but I'm like, hmm. I'm talking about a big, stupid ass spider, bruh. And I survived that because I listened to my intuition and instincts, bruh. The shit real, because you got billions of years of animal DNA waiting to be tapped into. Listen, my DNA is changing, so I'm not at 5% no more. I dodged death all because my intuition and instincts. Cuz, this shit real, cuz. I got out of that situation because I listened to my instincts, bruh. No cap. And after I seen that spider, I got from over there, cuz. Nail, no. I'm talking about, bruh, one dumbass brown widow. It wasn't a black widow, it was a brown widow, cuz. Still dangerous. It had an orange, it had an orange hourglass. You know that's death, nigga. So if I had slept right there, that spider could have fucked around and crawled, crawled on me in my sleep and damn, your boy wouldn't even been here right now. But I got out of the situation because I listened to my instincts, the animal-like instincts in my body. My body was picking up bad vibes and energy and danger of, of something. And it was this big ass spider right under where I was sitting at, bruh. Big dumb ass spider. I'm talking about. And I ain't scared of spiders no more. Ever since I had that dream last year when I was going through my dark under the soul, cause I ain't been scared of spiders. So after I seen it, I say, wow. That's why my body was feeling like that when I was sitting at that bus stop because there was a predator, right? There was a predator nearby. Let me make a pause, man. So yeah, my body was signaling, signaling that there was a predator. And them black widow spiders, widow spiders, those are predators. Them shits bite and kill shit. So I know that animal DNA that I'm tapping into let me know it's a dangerous predator nearby. I knew that. You get what I'm saying? So, the only way I got out of that situation was because I tapped into my animal-like DNA. You feel me? I was able to... I was able to... What's up, man? We got some samples. Hold on, it's... Hold on. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I was able to tap into that shit because of that animal-like DNA. My instincts was telling me, like, I ain't gonna lie, there is a predator nearby you know animals can pick up when there is 
a predator on the way on god that's how that shit was to me dangerous animal in the area and i found that sh i found it instinctively something in me just told me to look around and found it right under me and i was just about to lay right there bro on god bro so listen start holding on to that energy unlock the information of your ancestors unlock that animal dna you got bro because you got a lot of animal DNA within you, bruh. You got reptiles, snake, all that shit, bruh. And I found that shit off pure instincts. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, man. I love you guys so much. Y'all stay in the content and yeah, thug a little rock on my gang.